My name is Jill Berger, founder and CEO of Lustra, a lifestyle events company headquartered in Dallas, Texas. I think people look at me and they look at Lustra, they see this hot pink, fun, energetic, happy-go-lucky personality. Inside, I've been fighting a personal battle that has been a very long healing journey. In 2020, I was woken up in the middle of the night with night terrors. I was making huge leaps and bounds with Lushra, and inside, this voice came crawling up inside of me. Who do you think you are? Why do you think you're worthy to do what you're doing? It was PTSD. I was reliving something that I buried inside me for the last seven years, and I was reliving this instance of abuse, and it was coming out in the middle of the night. I didn't know what to do with it. In my early 20s, I was in a near-death experience that woke me up. I was in a fetal position, praying to God that I wasn't going to die. This was my book of life, and I was in this scary scene of the movie where the girl is getting her shit rocked by her boyfriend. It took that final instance for me to wake up and understand I was in an extremely abusive relationship. Domestic violence is extremely lonely. The same person you are in love with is also the same person who is hurting you in so many ways. Mentally and physically, you feel low in an extremely unworthy state. October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and I'm ready to use my voice to unsilence the violence. I want to share some facts about domestic violence. It is more common than you would think. One in four women in the U.S. will be a victim of severe physical violence by an intimate partner in their lifetime. There are more than 20,000 phone calls placed to domestic violence hotlines nationwide every day. Domestic violence alone affects more than 12 million people each year. Women between the ages of 18 and 24 are the most commonly abused by an intimate partner. It takes a lot of healing, but one day you will wake up, you will be free, and you will live presently. But you are not alone in the healing process. With lots of questions about what happened to me, how I was feeling and where I was, how I ended up in the situation, I am so grateful for the free therapy at my university system. My therapist printed off the cycles of an abusive relationship and I couldn't hide from it. Phase one is tension building. So conflict is happening, emotions are stirring, and the pot is getting stirred with tension. Phase two of the cycle is the incident. So when the actual abuse occurs is after the tension builds, then the incident happens. Step three is reconciliation. Abuser is on their knees, begging the victim and denies that the incident occurred. Phase four is the honeymoon phase. The incident is forgotten and it is the calm before the storm, the storm before the tension starts building again. This cycle of abuse is something that happens over and over and over. And once you realize you're in this cycle, you know you need to get out. But the first step is acknowledging the four phases. It's not easy, but to acknowledge that the cycle of abuse is never ending and there are no words, no amount of love you can give to someone to stop them from damaging you. I'm grateful that I was 20 years old when this happened to me and I had my whole life ahead of me. I didn't have kids. I didn't have a home. I didn't have a shared life with my partner at the time. And I was able to break free from the cycle of abuse. If by sharing my story can help one little girl out there, I know that it was worthwhile for me. If you can relate to my story of abuse in any way, mentally, physically, in any way, just know that you are not alone. It is hard. It takes courage. It takes strength to understand that you have one life to live and to not be a victim of your circumstances, but to take life in your own hands and to understand what you are worthy of. You are worthy of someone to love you and not cause you harm because that is not love.
This month, I celebrate overcoming domestic violence. I am worthy. I am safe. I am free. I am a survivor. For more information and for help, we have partnered with Genesis Women's Shelter here in Dallas. They are a local organization whose mission is to help women get out of domestic violent relationships and provide them a safe home. For more information on domestic violence, please visit our partners at Women's Genesis Shelter.